Right, so we're going to have a quick look at some recap questions on algebra. So the first question is a nice simple one. Um, it's asking us to simplify the expression 2x plus 5y minus 3y plus x. First thing to be really aware of here is they're asking us to simplify, which means that you're not going to get one answer, that x is equal to something or y is equal to something. You're just making it into its simplest form. So we're going to collect the like terms. So as you can see, we have a 2x here and an x here, that's going to give me 2x plus x, which equals to 3x. And we have a 5y here and a minus 3y here. So that's plus 5y minus 3y, and that's going to give me plus 2y. The next question we need to be really careful about. A lot of the time when students see this for the first time or they haven't seen algebra in a while, they're going to add all those x's together. But remember, in this example, we have an x squared, but we also have just an x by itself. And um, the way I sometimes think about it, it's like an espresso and a double espresso. They're different types of coffee, and you can't go up to the barista and order five or six cups of coffee because they, it means different things. So we're going to treat it the same way as we did x and y. So I'm going to add together the 2x squared and the minus x squared. So that's 2 minus 1 and that's going to leave me with x squared. And then I'm going to add together the 2x and the 5x and that gives me plus 7x. The next type of question we're going to have to be able to ask is, or to be able to answer I should say, is to be able to expand brackets. So what you need to remember here, again, you're not trying to solve it, you're not trying to get an answer for x or an answer for a, you're just trying to get rid of the brackets. The way that you do that is you take the number or the uh, term on the outside of the bracket and you multiply it by everything inside. So for the first one, I'm going to do 2 multiplied by x, which gives me 2x, and 2 multiplied by 5, which gives me 10. And that's it, that's my answer, you can't do anything else. The same thing is going to um, take place for the next question. So it's going to be 2a multiplied by a and 2a multiplied by 3b. So 2a multiplied by a gives me 2a squared and 2a multiplied by 3b. So we're going to do the numbers first. So 2 times 3 gives me 6 and a times b just gets stuck together and it gives me two or sorry 6ab. That's our answer. Can't do anything else. So here are some questions that I'd like you to try. Please pause the video, have a go at the questions, and then you can play the video and see how you got on. So the first one, I'm going to collect up my like terms. So I have 2a and a minus a. 2a minus a is going to give me a. I have a 5b and a minus 3b. So that's going to give me plus 2b. And I've got c left at the end, so uh, just plus c. The next one. Let's see what I have. So I have a y squared here and a y squared here. So that's going to give me 6y squared. I'll cross those out because this is a bit longer. Um, I have a minus y and a minus 4y. So that's going to give me minus 5y. And I have my plus 5x squared at the end. The next one, I need to multiply the 5a by everything inside the bracket. So that is going to give me... 5 by 2 gives me 10, a times a gives me a squared, plus 5 again, a times b just gives me a b. Same thing for the next couple of questions, multiply everything in the bracket, so that's going to give me 21x minus 7x squared, because there's two x's there. The next one again, everything inside the bracket, so that's going to give me 6 a, B. Make sure to write down your minus again. 2 times 9 gives me 18 and A times A gives me A squared and then B. So just be really careful with that question. So 2 times 9 gives me 18, A multiplied by A gives me A squared and then there's no other B's so that just sits at the end. And one more to go. 6 X squared by X squared. That's going to give me 6 X cubed. That's kind of going back to your rules of indices. You've got an x with the pair of 1 multiplied by x to the pair of 2. You add what's on their shoulders, so that's where the x cubed comes from. And then 6x squared times by y, so that's going to give me plus 6x squared y.